be meaning to do this for a while. Oh, guided meditation or a guidance into meditation or a guidance into not meditation, but just sitting still for a little bit and letting your mind calm down and seeing what happens. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing is the uh, physical. Um, I like to have my hands touching in the Zen tradition that I was raised with. We did that, we don't have to do that. You can just do this or this. I like to have them touching them, crossed on top of each other. Feet flat on the floor, back as straight as you can. If you can support your own back, you should. As the Yi King suggests, when you unify your breath with your thought and straighten the back, your ego disappears. Just like that, just like that. I thought it took 10 lifetimes. Apparently it doesn't, who knows? Let's give it a go. So back straight, feet on the floor. No particular breathing style. I think just, uh, the way I like to do it is I just like to sort of notice my breathing. Maybe I'm breathing a little bit more deeply, a little bit more smoothly, a little bit more consciously, but I'm sort of feeling like I'm letting the breath breathe itself and I just, uh, I'm present to the breath breathing itself. And very quickly from just sitting still and becoming aware of the breath breathing itself, I can feel my uh, mental state and my emotional and somatic state shift very rapidly. It doesn't take a long time. I think, I think our bodies and our minds, they want this really. They want to go into this state of relaxed, concentrated awareness. It feels good. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to tell you, but I'm enjoying myself. So you bring your attention um, to your body, just gently, and just how do your feet feel? How do your hands feel? Keeping your spine straight and your chest up, your heart forward. Breathing, but nothing weird, just let the breath breathe itself. By being in the body, of course, and noticing the breath, of course, you already know this. It's a little trick. If I say be present to the moment, you might think, ooh, that sounds a bit hard, a bit tricky. But if you just sat still with your hands in your lap, your feet on the floor, gently breathing, and noticing your body, of course, you can't do that and not be in the present moment. It's magnetic, it draws you to the present moment. Then when I've gone through those steps, what I like to do to go through my next steps to get into a deeper state is I remind myself to listen. Not just with my ears, but with my whole being. In this way, we can we can yin the mind, we can yin the being, we can yin our state. So we can go from yang and projecting forward into our future and being busy and conquering the world, which is good, to being awake but yin and receiving. being pregnant with our own potential and letting that pregnancy grow and being patient so you don't just get half an idea and impotently squirt it out suddenly all my metaphors have become about sex and re reproduction <laughs> but you hold it and uh, yin is uh, is not emptiness yin is um 
pure potential. Sometimes translated as chaos because when things have no form, they could be anything. And that is perceived by some people as chaos, but I prefer to think of it as pure potential. And you become pregnant for a moment with your own potential. In an alchemical sense, in a tarot sense, we are become the cop and we stop wanding. Meaning we stop slapping reality around with our big yang stick, making demands, shouting our opinions and preferences. And we take a little bath, take a little break, go into the cave and yin. Breathe a little bit more deeply, only as deeply as feels pleasurable to you. You enjoy it, your young, your youngs are the yin, are the lin. Your lungs are also yin. Fill them. Listen. Release the breath. Enjoy the moment. Let the energy of appreciation come into the moment. And gratitude. Enjoy this. Holding this moment just as it is. Don't try to stop the thoughts. Let the thoughts run. Observe them. Like a stream. Bubbles in a stream. They splash by. Let the space between the thoughts grow. If you want to relax and go deeper, you can. It's not necessary. It's as much as you need to. Keep it organic. Keep it natural. Keep it pleasant. Don't make it some weird thing. You just sat still, really. <laughs> You're just enjoying sitting still. What are you doing? I'm sitting still. What are you thinking about? Not much, to be honest. Not much. What for? It's quite nice. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm being a cop. <laughs> Yang off. You can enjoy the words and you can enjoy the not words. The space between the notes grows and in that space where the presence can enter. Terence McKenna called the felt presence of being. The felt presence of being. Hmm. Become aware of time passing. Some people the silence can be scary because it makes them feel alone, but you're not alone. This is easy. Silence is your friend, and the empty space is your friend. And this is where you can relax and where you can heal. It's not really meditating, it's just cooling the mind, let the engine cool down. Give 
needed space to breathe, to digest, to be patient, to gestate thoughts and emotions and process them properly. Maybe all of our uh, emotional trauma problems are really a problem of digestion. We're trying to rush out because we don't like the meal. And we get indigestion. <laughs> and then we get pukey. <laughs> but if you give it space, the system can work very well. It was around long before you were born. It will be around long after we've all gone. far from being something that frightens you, that should be something that gives you a lot of relief. You go, oh, thank God. It's not on me. That's right. It always was. And it always will be. We're just passing through. Breathe more deeply if you are enjoying that. Listen. Come to your body. Say hello body. Notice that. Notice yourself noticing that. Observe the fact that you can observe things. Observe yourself observing. And if you observe yourself observing that you're observing, you'll notice that at this point, a lot of your identity starts to fall away because I'm so busy noticing that I'm observing, that I'm observing, that I can observe. It's like I become pure observance itself and all that identity politics stuff, it just kind of, it just kind of fades away. And you can break down the boundaries between you and your washing machine. point some people will be feeling the, uh, the presence a little stronger I know I am and you can let yourself merge with that the felt presence of being it's from within you and it comes from without you from outside of you as well and it will be looking to merge with you and I think when people get scared of meditation and mindfulness it's because they're probably doing it correctly and the presence arrives and they think oh no I'm going to disintegrate don't worry you are but just a little, and it will be pleasant, and you'll go right back to being you afterwards. As wonderful as that may or may not be. Allow yourself to merge with the presence. Become aware of time. Presence is time. But you'll notice the presence is all around you. It's fluid and it's time, but it's time that's stopped, or at least it seems to have stopped. It hasn't stopped. It 
only seems to have stopped because for a few seconds we're in the eye of the storm. The storm of time. And the eye of the storm of time is now. experienced a, a little bit of presence and we've let ourselves sit in the present moment in full nowness it can be quite intense it's also a way of letting your ego disintegrate which means that you should be able to expand your consciousness outward and you'll find that the gap between you and other things has temporarily disappeared out a little bit further and you'll see that you are this and that this is you. you. Push out from within time, from this moment, outward, outward, outward. Look for the thing that is not you, you won't find it. It's all you. So inside of 14 and a half minutes, we've disintegrated our ego and we've experienced, if only for a few seconds, unity consciousness and the felt presence of being. Open your eyes. Actually, it was 17 minutes. I lost time. <laughs> so there's really nothing more to it than that. That's the way I take myself through it. I don't really do it for a set period of time. I do it for as long as seems pleasant, you know, feels good. And uh, I just enjoy the experience. Um, these things that are presented to us as being like, you know, up there, out there, foreign, exotic, ancient, not of now, they're not that big of a deal. The solution of your ego Practice this seven days in a row and dissolution of the ego, you'll begin to feel the beginnings of that inside of a three minute meditation if you just talk yourself down in the way that I said. Get the right stance, the right posture, become aware of your breathing, listen, and then allow the space between your thoughts to extend a little bit. You don't need to switch your thoughts off. That's like a perfectionist state. I don't even know if they really do that. They could be blagging us, how would we know? And uh, then the ego starts to dissolve. Uh, not long after that, if you continue to listen and you do your listening in a state of appreciation and gratitude and you're enjoying it, you're like, ooh, I'm holding the moment and this feels good. Then the felt presence of being will arise and it's, it's very distinct. You know when it's there, it's like, a, it's like walking into an energy field and it's right there, it's intense. Um, from there, sit with that, breathe into that, listen to that, then we uh, seek to break the time bind and we come into the now, um, the eye of the storm, the apocalypse, the ever revealing moment. Um, that's where people I think get really scared. I mean the felt presence of being is a bit scary at first because like wow that feels alien but the really scary thing is to come into now because there's no, um, it sort of presents us with well, the apocalypse, that's the horror of the apocalypse. It's right there, it's right here, I'm in it. It's unfolding right now. Um, and you're moving beyond words. But from there, as I said, inside of 17 minutes, you can start looking at experiencing unity consciousness. Um, ooh, lofty goal, 10 years of meditation. No, 17 minutes will do it. You've started to experience it. You'll be like, oh. I'm expanding my consciousness outward and I'm looking for that which is not me and I can't find anything that isn't me. I'm not coming across anything and going, oh, that's definitely not me. It's all me. 
and I'm all that, and that is all me, and we are all one, unity consciousness. I mean, if you walked around Asda for an hour on a busy Sunday afternoon with loads of chaos and kids screaming and people blowing their noses on you, and you still maintain that, that would be something pretty special. I think that's what the higher level dudes and dudettes do, but um, that's because they've been doing it for years. So even in rubbish surroundings or annoying surroundings, they can maintain that. But for the rest of us normal folks, accessing a meditative state shouldn't be something weird and it shouldn't be something painful or torturous or, or fetishized. It's right there, your body and your brain. Hopefully everybody who's, who's done this will have found it to be quite pleasant. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not a hardship. So let me know in the comments if that was useful. If uh, you want more, I can give you more of that. Um, go back and do it again. See if you can remember it and do it without uh, any guidance and see how you get on. Play with it, it's yours. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and your attention and I uh, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Cheers.